film is about um, our hero Danny, who's a former head of a hooligan firm. Danny is, uh, I guess you could call him a super hooligan. Well, he's from the old school of sort of hooligans. Tell your boss, this happens again. I'll be knocking on his door. Ten years previous, he's fled London and started his own life. In fact, why he leaves London is because uh, he's got into so much trouble with the law and all that stuff. <laughs> he's removed himself from that situation up north. He's in Scotland. He's opened up a gym. He's a fighter. He's training fighters. He's been fighting himself. And his wish was always to take his little brother with him. But his little brother remained, Joey, remained in uh, uh, London, supporting West Ham, getting involved with the Green Street firm. And eventually, his brother gets himself into trouble. Joey, Danny, our hero's brother, is, uh, is killed. Danny comes back to London um, to try and find out who's responsible for the death of his brother. I told Joey the GSC was a fucking mugs game. And to do that, he gets back involved with the firm. Raise your glasses to the governor, Danny. The governor, Danny! And discovers a whole underground hooligan network and uh, a different form of fighting. Run like the league, mate. Points for a win, and there's never a fucking draw. Goes until it's finished. At the end of the season, the top firm's crown league winners. A different setup of hooliganism and, and how they sort of a modern-day tear-up. Sometimes an old-fashioned straighten is the only way. I'm Jack Doolan, and I'm playing Gilly. I'm glad you're back, Danny. We ain't the outfit we used to be. Gilly is a football hooligan, and his best mate, Joey's, just been murdered, and so Gilly has to take on the role of top boy and start leading the firm. Right, everybody up! Yeah, and then Danny comes back, and, and all hell breaks loose. My name is Spencer Wilding, and I play my character is called Mason. So I tell you about your brother. That word cricket there. He's been like a head of Millwall for a few years now. And he's just such a, he's, he's an horrible, naughty boy. I'll find out who did it. I don't want to fucking end them. Good luck with that. He's just mental, he's, like, he's, like, he's off the rails, you know? There's no stopping him. My name is Joey Ansar, and I play the role of Victor. It means it's more organized now. Hooligan's done some pretty heavy sentences. No one wants to do a 10 stretch. Oh, come on, Vic. You try and tell me it's all stopped. Look, they're not smashing shit out of each other on street corners anymore. Victor is a detective, and uh, he's Danny's best friend. We get the idea from the script uh, that Victor and Danny were best friends way back when, you know, in their formative years. Danny's like a brother to me. I can't stop until I find the people that killed Joey. Danny went the way of the firm, I went the way of the force. Come on. I want you to prove to me that you still got it. When um, Danny's brother is killed, I'm the one to break the news to him, and uh, I'm there to try and help solve the murder. We're working on both sides of the fence. My name is Josh Myers, and I play Big John. Oi! Joey's death fit us all. Should we find out how big you really are, John? Uh, knock it off, gentlemen. I'm basically Gilly's best friend in the film. Um, we fight in the firm together. <laughs> Go around smashing people up, basically. We have fucking done it! We're What attracted me was James Nunn. I met with him, we spoke about the, the film. He didn't have a script at the time. He told me about the story. When I saw his film Tower Block, that, that pretty much made my mind up. Scott's an incredible actor. I'm so uh, fortunate to, to have him on this job, actually. When I met him, I. I really, you know, I sold the film. I really tried to pitch my heart out to him that this is going to be an amazing film. And uh, I think he probably walked away thinking, who's this kid? <laughs> and I was actually going to a festival in Texas, the Fantastic Fest. Got off the plane and then 
James was there. Both my previous film and his film ended up premiering in America together, and we, we both happened to be at the same event over a couple of drinks. We just sort of said, okay, look, let's do this. Uh, pretty much then I decided that I was going to make this film with him. I'm thrilled to bits to have him, and I think he's really happy to be here as well. We've been watching, you know, he's been seeing the rushes and the assembly cuts whilst we're shitting, and he's really pleased, or he seems really pleased. I'm really pleased. These hooligan movies, um, I can definitely see the attraction and why people like these types of films. And with this one, we've got a chance to uh, make it a bit more stylistic and um, turn it into a bit more of a fight movie than what you'd expect. But also for me, I've not done a British film before. And um, I've been 12 years into this business. And I thought it was, a bit, well, it was about time to make an English movie. This isn't sort of rooted in reality. You know, this isn't trying to be 100% authentic, you know, this is mixing the worlds of football hooliganism and, and mixed martial arts and sort of bringing those two worlds together. This has sort of been my dream job, you know, to, I've been a martial artist but I've been in the films for 10 years and I've never had a fight on screen. Over the last few years I've done quite a lot of comedy and, and played quite a lot of uh, lovable idiots, so the chance to come and play, you know, someone, a, a very angry young man, um, appealed to me quite a lot. Getting to do a bit of martial arts and what a film to do it, you know, it's a really strong character, you know, lots of fights. I felt as an actor, I've nailed the villain thing and I can kind of do that easily. What I haven't done and want to do is the more hero role, the good guy role. So the Victor role in the script um, jumped out at me and I thought, yeah, this is the role I'd like to play. I see, a lot of films I do, I end up dead at the end. So this one I actually survive, which is a nice change. It's been great working with Scott, you know, he's this incredible martial artist. And he's actually a pretty good actor as well, which was, you know, which was pleasing. He's, he's wicked Scott and he's a very good martial artist as well and he does great fight scenes as well. So he's, he's, he's pucker, he's really good. I'd love to work with him again. Well, it's great because I come from a martial arts background. You know, I, 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 I was a professional kickboxer for years and I've been a bit of a fan of Scott Atkins over the, over the years. And he works with a lot of my heroes, like Van Damme and, you know, a lot of numerous other names. Uh, and, I'm, I, you know, I'm in awe of him, you know, and it's great to work with him and share blows. We are the Green Street Elite, and we will be the number one firm again. I'm a big fan of American genre films, and um, I think probably took quite a lot of inspiration from like 80s movies, like Rocky, you know, all of those fight movies, really, Kickboxer, things like that, and then sort of mash that up together with, you know, really hardcore British iconic movies like Get Carter, and, um, and then I'm also a big, big fan of like the modern day fight style stuff within uh, like Warrior, for example. So on this film, as well as um, acting in it and the role of Victor and I guess essentially co-starring, I'm action directing and choreographing. It's kind of a cornerstone now. You know, the action is so something so uh, precious to me that if I'm gonna be in a film doing action, I, ha I have to choreograph it. it. There's a certain quality control that's required because his fans expect in a Scott Atkins film to see awesome fight sequences. Yeah, trying to make it more gritty than the stuff I'd normally do. Try not to make it as flashy or as unbelievable as those movies, keep it grounded. But at the same time, it is a movie and you need a bit of flash in there, so we're trying to pick moments. We both need to ensure that it's done right. Joey, who's our fight coordinator, um, he's, he's really good. and met up with him a couple of weeks before shooting and did a bit of boxing training and you know just to get me I mean I'm no I'm no Bruce Lee but you know they just made me look a little bit more proficient and made me look like I knew what I was doing you know I think the action in this is insane and there's such a variety between all of the fights the, the fight choreography that we do is I mean it's very I mean some of it's very brutal there's a scene in the film where I uh, you know I bottle someone and um, I knock someone out and then obviously you know, this is a stage in the film where we're not that good, so we get, you know, beaten and trampled on as well. James phoned me about a month before shooting and said, Jack, I think you, um, you better get yourself down to the gym and, and start training a bit before we start shooting. And I thought, oh, no, it'd be fine. It's only a bit of fake fighting. And then I turned up on the first day and it's just been brutal ever since. There's a bit of a crossover when it comes to the fight scenes because we've got some fantastic fight choreographers and um, fight co fight coordinators involved. I hate filming the fight scenes, I'll be honest with you, even though I'm known for that. It's so hard, it's so difficult. I expect a lot of myself and you get banged up, you get hurt, you get injured, you get tired, so it's not a lot of fun, but it's, it's all worth it when you see the end product. I think it's kind of a revenge film with fighting and uh, MMA and... Well, it's a proper lads movie. 
But, you know, you're going to have some great fights in there. Some great fights. Stuff that you've not seen come out of England before. And it's not just all football hooliganism, like in the pubs, in the stadiums, fighting, shouting. It's, you know, we get taught to fight in this film. Um, and you see a progression of us, you know, getting better, you know, doing the training and using it out on the street, actually seeing us becoming better fighters. And it's, it's fusing two genres that hasn't really been done. People that like those hardcore, aggressive, gritty, uh, you know, football hooligan films. There's all of that stuff in here for them, but then the people that love more high-end martial arts stuff is really fusing those two worlds. And there is, there is some good drama as well, you know, there, there's good drama binding it. I think people are going to really enjoy the story. You know, everybody likes to see uh, men uh, wanting to be violent to one another. I think this film's more about young men searching for somewhere to belong than anything else. It's how I read it, anyway. With loads of people getting kicked in the face. But the feeling I've got on this film, I think it's going to blow one or two out of the water, you know. Especially with the, the, the such strong characters in the martial arts background as well. There are some good hooligan movies out there, and, um, I hope that this can be one of the uh, one of the top ones. I'm not just saying it, but going through this film process and watching the rushes and stuff, this is going to exceed expectations. It's going to go beyond the standard, you know, material that you would expect from something in this genre. I think if you like action movies and hooligan movies, this is going to be uh, one for you, and hopefully something that hooligan fans. And, uh, and film fans haven't seen before, so hopefully they'll take something original from it, and especially for a, a, a small UK movie.